By the end of this video, you're going to understand what all of these directories mean, and you'll be confident inside of the terminal. So let's take these visual folders and remove everything so that you only see their names. Well, when you're in the terminal, it's the same thing but without the GUI. So let's get started. Again, we need to navigate to Linode's Cloud Manager, so I'll set it up and it will only take a few minutes to initiate. But rather than wait, I have an instance here, so I'll just launch the console. Well, this console simply uses the terminal as an access point for that GUI that you saw earlier at the beginning of the video. Everything in Linux is represented by a file or a folder, which we call directories. And so let's type in pwd to find out which directory that we're currently in. Now let's go through them one by one. Forward slash. This is the primary root directory of the entire file system's hierarchy. In the terminal, everything is done at the command line. So I can't double click on the word because there's no GUI. So let's type it in. I'll type in ls to see a list of files inside of any directory. Forward slash bin. This directory is for your binaries. This is where most of the files live on the machine. It's just a directory where a user of an operating system can expect to find their applications. Forward slash CD-ROM. This directory is kept around for legacy reasons. It was used to mount CDs years ago. Today, the forward slash MNT and forward slash media directories are usually where devices mount. Forward slash dev. This is for the device files. This usually provides simple interfaces to outside devices, such as printers and serial ports, but it can also be used to access disk permissions. Forward slash etc. While there has been debate on the meaning of the etc directory, Bell Labs' documentation refers to this as the Excedra directory. This directory holds everything that does not belong elsewhere. It usually holds all of the config files. Also note that sometimes this folder is called the etc or Etsy folder, forward slash home. This is where all the user files live. This is the default directory, forward slash lib. The system itself will match the number of bits of its application to the library, which is the purpose of the forward slash lib32, 64, and libx32 directories forward slash lost plus found. When a directory crashes, this is where it might be able to partially recover lost files or directories. Forward slash media. This directory is for mounting file systems on removable media like CD-ROM drives, floppy disks, and zip drives. Forward slash MNT. This stands for mount. This directory is generally used for mounting file systems temporarily when needed. Forward slash OPT. Years ago, this directory was used by Unix vendors like AT&T, Sun, and others to hold option packages, which were packages that you could have paid extra money for. Forward slash PROC. Short for process, this directory holds information for each running process, including kernel processes and configuration parameters. Forward slash root. This is the home directory for the root user. You can have multiple users on one operating system, and this is where they live. Forward slash run. This directory is for background processes to store temporary runtime files. Forward slash sbin. This stands for super user binaries. It contains all of the executable programs, which is also known as the ready to run programs. Forward slash snap. Ubuntu 16.04 LTS introduced snap packages, and this directory is where they are stored. Snap packages are an alternative packaging format to the .deb packages that you may be familiar with. .deb packages were typically installed with root privilege, which opened up a security risk. However, these snap packages are completely isolated from the rest of the system. So the biggest advantage with snap packages is the improved security. Forward slash SRV. This is the serv folder. It holds data for things like FTP, rsync, and more. Forward slash sys. This is an older legacy directory. Sys is an interface to the kernel, and it provides a file system-like view of information and configuration settings that the kernel provides, and it contains information about devices and drivers. Forward slash TMP. This directory is for programs to store temporary files. On most systems, this directory is cleared out when the system is rebooted or shut down forward slash USR. This is used by the system administrator when installing software locally. It is read only because it needs to be safe from being overwritten when the system software is updated. Forward slash var. This is for variable files, which are files whose content is expected to continually change during normal operation of the system, such as logs, caches, and backups. Now you know what all these directories mean and what they're used for. And that's it. So subscribe for more information for tutorials like this and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.